So I guess it's worth considering about the difference between those passive leisure activities, those active leisure activities, the passive leisure activities where we sometimes need to actually chill out, hopefully not numb out, but chill out, relax, reboot and recharge, which might be the good old fashioned television or a film or something like that, but it's very, very passive and unlikely to find flow. Then you, on the other hand, you've got the very active side. So an active leisure time might be over my shoulder, being outside, whether that's going out for a walk or run, whatever it might be, but going out within nature, maybe some kind of equipment involved. And with that, we know it requires some preparation for that and sometimes that dull practice. So sometimes you might want to find the middle ground. It's very easy to watch TV, but you're not going to get you know, an engineer flow as a result. It might be a bit tricky getting outside, returns are higher in terms of flow but then it's hard to get outside so what about the middle ground so some of those hobbies that we do and they can be outside but of course some of them can be inside as well and reading as i've already mentioned is a really really great way to find flow and it's all about the actual quality of what you read if you read something trashy you might not find flow at all but if you read something that's getting the old the brain going the heart going the gut you know, in terms of that kind of the three brains if you like thinking and responding and being part of that narrative then potentially you can find flow so i thought i was absolutely crazy that I read six books at any one time. Um, I'm going to tell you why I read the six books now because I've given you that idea of, you know, it's, it's that somewhere between the active and passive activity for finding flow. And actually having six books on the go is quite manageable for me. And sometimes I must confess I have more. Sometimes I leave one in the car or I take one when I'm traveling. Sometimes if I'm on the train, I think rather than taking one of these big heavy ones, I'll take a, a slimmer variety of book. So what have I got on the shelf? Well, these are old fashioned books. I've come back to reading hard copies so much more. I went, I went fully, fully for the, the Kindle world, but felt like my connection to the actual narrative was missing somewhat. So I've got a personal book, basically a hardened you know, copy going on at some point. So I've got a, a book called The Majors by John Fold, which I've just started, which is a great read. Thoroughly recommend that. I'll recommend this one so much. This is Goffey and Jones. Why should anybody work here so much? So I'll um, do a, a vlog on that. Now, so I've got, you know, one, one half each going on. So one work, one personal, always. So I've also got the, the Kindle still running. I like the idea of the Kindle running in the background because if I've got 30 minutes somewhere where I haven't taken these around, then I can tap into a book. I'm reading Sacred Summits at the moment, which is a mountaineering book, which I, I like my mountaineering, and a book called Authentic Happiness by Martin Seligman around positive psychology. Um, a bit well, they'll probably tell me I've got, yeah, I've done 18% of that book, so I'll probably vlog on that one as well, but uh, it's a bit further down the line. So I've got basically a work going on, a personal going on, hard copies, you know, paperback or hardback, doesn't matter, and then the Kindle. And then this little device, which you all know by now is a smartphone, is great for the audiobook. I spend a lot of time um, traveling, so the audiobook's brilliant. I've got Sapiens on the go at the moment, probably quite well known to you. A brief History of Humankind, which is my personal one, just kick it on. Nine hours, 19 to go in that one. And the book called The Gut by a lady called uh, Enders. And that's, well, I've already mentioned that. That's about tapping into the multiple brains of the head, the heart, and the gut, the more in intuition, those kind of things. So I think it's great to think about the difference between the, the active and the passive, and perhaps finding that middle ground. Because I can always go to these on a daily, weekly basis. They're always getting ticked off um, and increasing my odds of finding more flow. And sometimes, yeah, I'll, I'll go for those, those trickier exercises, which might be outside, but that, that requires a bit more. So just have a think about reading. It doesn't have to be reading, but think about the difference between active and passive leisure time.